Big day here on Breakfast Television with a Canadian broadcast exclusive. Our Mike Yanni is the only Canadian journalist with a camera in San Francisco live for the biggest launch in Apple's history. Now, Mike, you were saying the first clue that this is a big day is the venue. The venue itself. There's a lot of secrecy, Jill, about the venue itself. It says special event on the uh, the placard there, and indeed a lot of people are expecting this to be a big event. This is the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium. Now, just to give you an idea and put it into perspective, so this auditorium holds about 8,000 people. This is where President Obama makes his speeches when he comes into town. A typical Apple event only holds about 800 people. So it's significantly bigger than other events. In fact, what you don't see, cameraman Nick and I yesterday were kind of walking around and we were on the backside and uh, we, we didn't realize we were actually here at the venue and we were like, oh, well, they're shooting a movie here. There is tons of production trailers in the backside there. Um, and the rumor is they are creating an experience on the inside. Just because the venue is bigger doesn't mean they invited more media. It just means they're using the space in a different way. And so we've been told you can expect an experience. What that means, not too sure. And of course, we don't really know what Apple is announcing here today. We, we have some ideas. Of course, we're looking at a refresh of the iPhone. So possibly going to call it iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus. So two new iPhones. Um, and of course, we're looking at uh, upgraded specs. So of course, faster processor, um, possibly better cameras. We're looking at maybe a jump from 8 megapixel to 12 megapixels. So that, that could be significant and the front uh, camera also upgraded as well and possibly an upgrade to the screen itself there's been some rumors that there might add touch force or force touch to it where if you actually push down on it the screen is pressure sensitive so the harder you push uh, different menus and different options would pop up just like on the apple watch so there is already that feature on there so that could pop up in the new iphones as well Besides iPhones, iPads. Uh, rumor is that they could introduce a new iPad mini, but also an iPad Pro, which is significant, lo significantly larger. Possibly 12 inches plus, maybe even a stylus added to that as well. So it could be for business people, things like that. Uh, what else? Apple TV. There's also rumor of refreshed Apple TV. We haven't seen a new Apple TV in a little while, uh, but what could be different this time around is upgraded processor inside to handle gaming. So there could be a heavy focus on not only watching your shows and music through your television, but also playing games, possibly casual games, maybe even motion sensing, motion controls, kind of like we see with Nintendo's Wii and the Wii U. Uh, so that could be coming out as well. And of course, iOS 9, so new software for the iPhone, the iPad, and an upgrade to the software on the watch, new watch OS as well. So lots of diff different speculation, but going back to what I was talking about originally, that experience that they're creating inside, is there more to that? Is there a reason, Jill, that they need a venue of this size? Well, we're going to be finding out in a couple of hours. We will find out. Thanks very much, Mike. Mike Yanni live in San Francisco this morning for the Apple unveil, the biggest in the history of Apple, and we will get details as the morning goes on, checking in with Mike throughout the morning live. Canadian broadcast exclusive. Andy, it's a big morning. It's time to check in with our Mike Yanni, who is live in San Francisco this morning. This is a Canadian broadcast exclusive in that we are the only crew down in San Fran for the big Apple launch. Mike? That's right, Joe. We're the only Canadian crew, broadcast crew down here, but I will say we're not alone. If you look just a little this way, you're going to see a podium here with a lot of the media, the broadcast crews down here. Uh, there are crews from around the world, but we are the only Canadian crew down here. And I will say too, Joe, that up and down the streets, you can't really see it from here, but they are lined with sat trucks and live trucks and a lot of media coverage. And of course, most of them will be here throughout the day. But the focus is this building right here and what's going to happen inside later this morning in just a few hours. This is the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium. Now, just to put this into perspective, this is a huge venue compared to the previous venues that Apple's used over the years. This seats about 8,000 people. This is where Barack Obama speaks when he comes to town. So a really large venue, but not necessarily more media invited. So why do they need that much space? Well, that is the big question. What is Apple going to announce today? We do have some ideas at this point. In fact, actually, if you want to have a little bit of fun, ask Siri, say, give us a hint. And Siri's been changing her tune throughout the day. And we get closer to the event this morning she'll be saying she or he will be saying a number of different things <clears throat> excuse me we're looking at <clears throat> We're looking at new iPhones, uh, possibly iPhone 6S and a 6S Plus. So two different iPhones there with bumped up specs, better camera and things like that. Uh, but there's got to be more than that, right? So there's some new products also going to be announced, possibly a new iPad, uh, iPad mini, but also something new, an iPad Pro. That's a big rumor right now. 
iPad Pro could have a larger screen, up to 12 inches, possibly even a stylus. Beyond that, we're looking at an upgrade possibly to Apple TV. Um, Apple TV, of course, you use, you use it for watching television, you watch it, you use it for your movies and um, music, but could they make a play for the gaming market? Could there be more games on Apple TV? And there could even be motion controls this time around. But there could be more than that. What about home automation? And that's kind of what a lot of people are suspecting what's going on inside. If Apple needs this much space, maybe they are creating what they're calling an experience for us. Could they set up different rooms in the house inside this auditorium where you can walk through and talk to Siri and control things like lights and televisions and things like that? That's the big question, Jill. Why do they need this much space? What kind of an experience are they building here this morning? Well, we only have a few more hours to wait to find out. Thank you, Mike. A space fit for the president and for our gadget guy, Mike Yanni. Mike Yanni with the exclusive Canadian broadcast this morning for the biggest launch in Apple's history. We'll be checking in with him throughout the morning. Time to head on out to our Mike Yanni, who has the Canadian broadcast exclusive in San Francisco for the biggest launch in Apple's history. And we're counting down the minutes until you actually can go inside. Mike? That's right, Joe. We're about three hours away from the big event, but you can see behind me here, media already starting to line up to get inside. I mean, that's pretty early, three hours before the event. Things are a little bit busier now than the last time I talked to you. As I mentioned, media are already standing by here, and the Apple staff are busy putting the final touches in the venue itself. Uh, big crowd expected here today, including a number of celebrities. Of course, we don't know who's going to be here, but leave it to Apple to transform a venue that they don't own and make it their own. I'm going to step away at the here to the side and you can see the big Apple logo front prominent in the center right there of course they put that up at the top of the building they have Apple flags flying so they've really taken this venue and but what is inside that's what everyone is wondering and speculating about this is the venue that Barack Obama speaks at it can hold about 8,000 people of course there's not 8,000 media invited here so the question is why does Apple need such a big venue what do they have in store for journalists well we do know Jill that iPhones are going to be prominent front and center we are looking at two new iPhones today possibly called the 6s and the 6s plus of course Apple could throw different names on them hard to say but beefed up processor much better camera we're looking at maybe a bump from 8 megapixel to 12 megapixel camera so uh, iPhone's gonna be very prominent here question is what else does Apple have okay well iPads it's about that time to refresh the iPads so the rumor is though not only is there gonna be an iPad mini but there might be an iPad Pro so that's going to be significantly larger possibly 12 inches or bigger and maybe even a stylus now besides iPads Apple TV there's another product we haven't seen uh, upgraded in the last little while rumor of that one is that they could be bumping up the inside the processor on the inside to make it uh, better for gaming so you could be sitting and playing apps and casual games but there could also be motion controls added to Apple TV or there could be home automation where you can actually talk to Siri and maybe control things in the home so a lot of speculation on top of the products their software iOS 9 for your iPhone and your iPad so bring new features to those devices. And of course, if you own an Apple Watch, uh, Watch OS 2.0, uh, there could be some new features for Apple Watch, maybe even some new bands for the Apple Watch if you already own one. So lots on the table today. Uh, the question is, which one of those speculations are going to come true or are all of them going to be? It's just hard to say. But the big question is, why this venue? Why do we need so much space? We've been told and expected experiences inside that they've kind of converted the inside for this event specifically what does apple have up their sleeve well we only have about three hours to wait jill to find out exactly what apple is going to announce just three hours thanks very much mike and we'll be keeping in touch with mike you can also follow him on twitter at gadget underscore guy for all of the details on the apple unveil and he'll also be live with us tomorrow for all of the details and the review